Hi, my name is Emily Keller and today we're going to be talking about the rib stitch. This stitch is normally found on the edge of garments, like around the bottom hem, around the sleeve hem, or around the neck edge. It's great for these locations because it has a lot of horizontal stretch, which makes it comfortable and functional. Rib stitch is easy to identify by its vertical ridges, which are made up of alternating columns of jersey and pearl stitches. Rib is named by the amount of jersey and pearl columns that they have. For example, if I have one column of jersey and one column of pearl repeated in a pattern, this is called a one by one rib. Now, when naming rib, always reference the front side of the fabric, which will be the outside of the garment and always count the jersey columns first. So if I have this rib stitch and I count the jersey columns first, this stitch has three columns of jersey and two columns of pearl. So this is called a three by two rib. Now let's say I change my mind and want to use the other side of the fabric. Then I would flip it over and recount. So this side has two columns of jersey and three columns of pearl. So this is called a two by three rib. Aside from trim, Rib is also great as the main stitch of a garment, like on hats, scarves, leggings, undershirts, and sweaters. It's also great for any garment where you want a lot of horizontal stretch and good texture. On to the rating system. Knitting time is a one. This is a really quick stitch to knit. Programming time is a two. Most basic rib stitches have a preset program module that you can just paste right into your program. Those would be quick, but if you have a custom rib that has either no repeat or a very long repeat, this is something you're going to have to program manually and will take a little bit more time. Price is a two. Because knitting time and programming time are quick, price tends to be fairly low. Rib has a tendency to sort of contract on itself, which makes it more dense. And any price increase would come from the added weight, which comes from using more yarn. Strength is a five, especially for how stretchy this fabric is. The strength is really good. This is why it's used on trims so much. Drape is a two. Drape is not very good because it has so much structure and texture in the stitch. Comfort is a 10. This is a really comfortable stitch to wear. It's why it's used on garments that are close to the body, like undershirts and leggings. Texture is a five. It has its really signature vertical ridges. Weight is a four. Torquing is a one because it uses both the front and the back bed of the machine fairly evenly. Torquing is not really going to be an issue with rib. Balance is a nine. Again, because it uses the front and the back bit of the machine evenly, balance is really good on this stitch. The only thing is the side edges of your swatch will curl up a little bit if they're not linked either finished with trim or linked to another piece of fabric, you're gonna have some curling on only the side edges. Stretch is a nine. The vertical stretch is fairly mediocre, but the horizontal stretch is where the stitch really stands out. I definitely recommend keeping the stitch in mind if you want stretchy fabric without using an elastic or lycra yarn, where all of the stretch will come from the stitch instead of the yarn. Thanks for watching this video. We'll be putting out not only new stitch videos but also some new concept videos so to get notifications on those please subscribe and thanks for watching bye